Looks like Kristen spotted a chanterelle. Go pick it. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> we weren't expecting to find that today. No. Maybe. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Might be. Let's take a little look. Well, I guess we just Kristen just found another chanterelle, golden. We found some some winter chanterelles too. It's always nice to find too. But yeah, that's a nice, uh, nice gold one. You know, they're a little bit older, but that's fine. Yeah, that's a little winter one growing. Yeah. <laughs> Show the gills. Nice. Cool. Slinky, I'm finding some more winter slash yellowfoot chanterelles. Oh. Look, two of them. Yeah. I think there's one under there and then there. Yeah. Beautiful. Do we still have some at home or no? No. Oh. And there's this little one here. Oh, that's a nice one. Cool. So I'm out looking for some late season chanterelles in the lower mainland. There's one. There's one. Yeah, I mean, they're sparse right now. Not very many around, but uh, we'll see what I can find. So I just picked that one, and then just kind of under the leaf here, I didn't see it. There's another one. So, yeah, that's not too old. It's nice. So, just got to keep my eyes open. Cause there are a lot of, there's a lot of this, uh, looks like Oregon grape and uh, Salal growing around. So I just picked a couple that I didn't record and then uh, just kind of came on the other side of this log and there's two more. Actually, I think a third one there. So yeah, it's a good little spot here. Wow, that's got a long stalk. Yeah. Um, most of these have been fairly close together in this area, so I'm going to have to really uh, circle this area and try to find them all. Oh, yeah, I think there's another one in here. It's pretty old. I'll just leave that one. There's a bigger old one. Should keep my eyes open here. See if I see anything else. Yeah, that one's quite old. So I just picked this uh, old chanterelle. I'll try to clean it up. <clears throat> yeah, see how it just kind of folds in on onto itself when it gets old. 
trapped a bit of dirt in there. But I don't mind finding some big ones as long as they're not bug eaten, so keep searching. I think I see one. Kind of on this steeper edge. Nice. There's a nice one, just kind of lit up by the late day sun. It's getting, I've only got about an hour left maybe before it gets too dark. Yeah, it's not the greatest one, but again, it's not bug eating, so I'm all right. So I just spotted these. Um, Hyphaloma capnoides mushrooms, which are, um, they're edible. I haven't actually eaten them yet, but uh, I've kind of avoided them because they look similar to the sulfur tuft mushroom, and uh, they are related, so it takes a bit of, I guess, getting used to the uh, Sulfur tufts have more of a greenish type gills, but um, yeah, I know that these grow later. These uh, capnoides grow later in the season than the uh, sulfur tuft, and basically that's what we're at. And then uh, just kind of looking in the distance, I can see an old shen. Am I looking at the right thing here? And there it is, an old chanterelle. That one's a little too old. Yeah, it's really mushy. I'm gonna leave that. But, uh, yeah, I'll continue my search, but maybe I'll keep a couple of these capnoides. Here's some more hyphaloma capnoides growing off of dead wood. Keep some just to try them out. That's cool. So I'm not really finding as many as many chanterelles as I'd like to. You know, a few factors, maybe the, it's just a type of year we had, but also it is near a trail, so I feel like it does get hit. I did see some evidence of um, cut mushrooms, but uh, yeah, they're very sparse. Here's a really old, here's a really old one. That's pretty big. Pretty sure that's just one, one mushroom. Oh no, it's two. Yeah, two side by side. I'll take it though. I just noticed this mushroom is uh, fused together, even though it's got two stems. The cap is all fused together with the other one. Kind of cool. Pretty nice Douglas fir in here. Some pretty uh, fair sized ones. I think I just came into a bit of a patch of uh, chanterelles. They're kind of hidden under these ferns. They're not the greatest. Definitely older.
I'm sure they'll be fine. So I'm continuing to look through these ferns and uh, I'm finding more. And these are in pretty nice shape. These are kind of younger ones. That's a good one. Let's see, there's another one here. Yeah, I'm going to have to really uh, look around in this area. That's cool. So the sun's going down fast, so I'm just heading my way back uphill and uh, thankfully still finding some. Here's some small ones. Stem broke. I'm gonna leave that small one. Hopefully, I find some bigger ones. Small one and possibly a larger one. I'm gonna have to try to get at it though without breaking it too much. I can see it in there. That's a good one. Just clean it up. But that's one, no. It's something else. But yeah, cool. So I just uh, finished filming the, uh, the one mushroom and uh, I noticed I'm right near the path here. But uh, I'm starting to find a few here. Here's a nice one. And then I think I see... Yeah, there's another one. There's... Yeah, that's cool. That's a good one. Oh, is that a third one there? I think so. There's three. Sure, if I keep looking around, I'll see some more. Well, I'm kind of in the last stretch of getting back to the main trail. Looks like there was a chanterelle here. Anyways, <laughs> just a stock, I'm not gonna bother. Um, but I see one here. Is that one as well? Nope, that one is. That's nice. So hopefully this last stretch provides me with some. I know I've been kind of avoiding picking the winter chanterelles that I've been seeing just because I've already picked a bunch this year. But there's some. It's pretty dark now so image won't be that great but uh, I think I'll just stick to uh, looking for the goldens for now. So, see what I find. Nice one. Yeah, this uh, mossy hillside seems to be pretty good. It's obviously easier to find them rather than in the uh, ferns in Salal. And now that it's getting darker too. But yeah, this orange really kind of stands out on the moss.
There's an older one. All folded up. But yeah, it's regardless, it's it's gonna taste good. Cool. Let's see if I can just quickly take oh there's another one. Right in the rock there. Wow, that's a big one. Look at that. Could try to get that one out. Wow, that one's pretty big. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, it's old, but it's not that bad. Take another look here. See what else I can see. That's it, I guess. So here's my late season haul. I just clean them up with uh, a paintbrush that I dedicate for cleaning mushrooms. And you know, they are late season uh, chanterelles, so they're not exactly like perfect or what I would, you know, consider market quality, but um, they'll taste good once they're cooked up, so I'm happy with uh, today's haul, considering it was probably just under two hours of uh, searching in, a, in an area that's probably already uh, picked through.